video, I'm going to show you how to solve this quadratic equation using factorization method. As you know, to solve any quadratic equation in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. To solve it by factorization method, the first thing we need to do is to find the factors of c that will add up or be subtracted to give us the coefficient of x, which is b in this case. So without further ado, let's go straight to the question. I'll show you how to do that. So to solve this problem, we are going to find the factors of 26 that will add up or be subtracted to give us 9, the coefficient of x. So the possible factors of 26 are the best way to find the factors of any number is to start by dividing it by 1. So 26 divided by 1 is going to give us 26. So that means we'll have 1 times 26. Again, we can divide it by 2 to give us 13. So that means 2 times 13 is going to give us 26. If you divide 26 by 3, you're going to get a decimal number. So it's not going to work. If you divide by 4, you're going to get a decimal number again. So these are the possible factors of 26. So now let's check if these factors will add up or be subtracted to give us 9. So 26 minus 1 is going to give us 25, and 26 plus 1 is going to give us 27. So this is not going to work. Next, 2 plus 13 is going to give us 15, and 13 minus 2 is going to give us. 11. So this does not give us 9. So this is not going to work. Now, you might be tempted to conclude that this problem cannot be solved by factorization method. However, there's a way that we can do it. So the way to do this is to multiply the coefficient of s squared, which is 2 by 26. That is 2 times 26, which is 52. Now we're going to find the factors of 52 that will add up or be subtracted to give us 9, the coefficient of x. So now let's find the factors of 52. So we have 52 divided by 1. It's going to give us 52. So we have 1 times 52. 52 divided by 2 is going to give us 26, so that means 2 times 26 is 52. We have 2 times, if you divide 26 by 2, it's going to give us 13, so times 2 times 13. So it's another possible way, and we also have, so we can say 2 times 2 for uh, 52 divided by 4 is going to give us 13. So these are the possible factors of 52, 4, and 13. So now let's add up or subtract these factors to see which one we give us 9. So let's start with 1 and 52. If you add 1 to 52, is 3. 52 minus 1 is going to give you 51. So this is not going to work. If you add 2 to 26, it's going to give it 28. And if you subtract it, it's going to give it 24. So this is not going to work. If you add 13 to 4, you're going to get 17. But if you subtract it from uh, 4 from 13, you're going to get 9. Exactly what we are looking for. So now that we have the factors of 52 that can give us 9, we can now substitute it into 9 and uh, factorize it. So instead of writing 9x in the middle, we are going to write negative 4x plus 13x. So let's do that. We have 
2x square, negative 4x plus 13x, negative 26. So as you can see, what we just did is simply replace 9x with negative 4x plus 13x. So now we can factorize it easily. First, we're going to find a common factor between 2, 2x squared and 4x. So the common factor here is 2x. Because if you multiply 2x by x, you get 2x squared. And if you multiply 2x by by 2, you're going to get 4x. Next, what's the common factor between uh, 13x and 26? 13. So if you multiply 13 by x, you're going to get 13x. Multiply 13 by 2, you're going to get 26. So equals 0. Now we have 2x, this, and this. Now plus 13. Then since we have two of these, let's just take one of each. X minus two equals zero. So now let's equate it with zero to find X or X minus two or zero. So if you make X the subject of formula, you're gonna get negative 13 over 2 or x equals 2. So guys, that's how to solve this problem.